Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. That's Dave Hinton. Actually, that's Jesus channeling Dave Hinton through Mark Kilgore. Welcome to The Truth by the Ministry of Jesus through Mark Kilgore. I am Mark, and I'm your humble host. And will you look at this, folks? Will you check this out? Is this neat? Is that neat or what? I kind, I kind of think that's a little bit neat. I kind of think that's just a little bit neat looking. You know what? I'll tell you what. I came to this town which is Colorado Springs, Colorado. It's where I'm shooting from this second. And I've never seen a mountain except in my dream. My dream where Jesus had me in heaven. That was the only mountain I'd seen. Then I woke up. I said I arrived in this town during the cover of nightfall when there's a covering of darkness. Ooh, I see a face there. I see a face there. I don't know if you do, but I see a face there. I could see a few faces. I got a I got an active imagination. I'll tell you that, folks. I will tell you that. But anyway, the purpose of this show is uh, the Lord wanted me to. Um, honor one of his uh, chosen vessels. And the chosen vessel that he wanted honor given unto today is my good friend that I met less than 24 hours ago, but I knew him before that because the Lord had revealed to him to me as I had watched him on YouTube. And I had also watched Brother Dave the Lord led me to get that one right there. The Lord led me to get all these, but he wouldn't let me walk away from the table without buying this. And, and uh, Dave's testimony, I'm praying that he reveals the deepest, darkest parts of his testimony. Because in person, he did yesterday reveal the deepest, dark, that the deepest, darkest, parts that I thought what I thought he was gonna say in his testimony that I saw on YouTube it actually was true what I had imagined and it blew away my mind I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm just gonna tell you I'm just gonna tell you that Dave's a special vessel that Dave's a special vessel and I'm gonna tell you how, how special he is and please Excuse my shooting conditions, my squalor here, okay? All right. We're having to go for this. Like this. All right. Because I'm in a motel room. So I'm shooting from here. And I've got to tell you <laughs> that I undershot my stature just a little bit. That's not the first time. Just a moment, please. That's going to get me. Okay. So. And my stature is not as, uh, as equal as, uh, as Mr. Dave Hinton's. No, it is not. It is not. My stature is not equal to this man. This man is six feet, six inches tall. And I don't have to ask to know that he uh, weighs at least 300 pounds. In fact, I'll say that Brother David might go 350. He's a big man. I don't want none. I'll tell you that right now. I don't care if this guy gets to be 90 years old. Like he said in his testimony, which I haven't listened, haven't finished listening to all of yet, you know, at least he could, if nothing else, he can resort to falling on you. All right? But the Lord woke me up at 4 o'clock this morning, and at 4.18 he had tears streaming down my face 
because he was talking to me about Brother Dave, and I had to testify that 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 uh, the world doesn't give Dave Hinton his due. Brother Dave is awfully special in Jesus' eyes. The work that Brother Dave and and his wife Christy are doing their ministry, which is uh, what it, what what is it? Uh, I'm gonna get this right here. You know how right we're gonna get it. We're gonna look at the business card here together. Yeah, that's right. Outreach for America. That's this man's ministry, okay? That's how you contact this man right here. Now, this man's not scared of you to contact him. I'll tell you that right now. I already told you his size. I already told you his size. I told you also that he's six foot six. Well, he's six foot seven spiritually. He's got a great sense of humor, and he is mightily yielded, especially yielded to the Lord, and therefore especially used by the Lord to touch hearts and to draw people to Jesus and to draw people to Jesus that are already with Jesus, but to draw them further along so that they will be krata yo'od, so that they will be risen up, so that they'll be ranked up, runged up, bigged up, made more proper for the Master's use. What else, Jesus? I wished I could have cried till 420. I tried, folks. I did my best. But I'll tell you what, Jesus is God. Jesus is the Son of God. Some people don't have a problem accepting Jesus as the Son of God and they call themselves Christians, but they don't accept Jesus as God. If you don't make Jesus Lord and you don't make Jesus God, then Jesus is nothing to you. And if Jesus is nothing to you, you're nothing to Jesus. What do you want to tell the people, Lord, during this? The Lord told me to partner with Dave. The Lord told me to double partner with Dave. If you are a partner with Andrew Womack, you know how much that means. Lord, I don't want to cut off a show before time, but if you don't want to talk, I'm not going to talk. I'll sit, I'll sit here for five minutes if you're not going to talk to the people, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus loves you! He doesn't want you to be deceived anymore. He doesn't want you to be deceived anymore. Don't you know that the nature of being deceived is that you don't realize that you're being deceived? Think about that. And think about Satan and what he would want. The devil, if you believe it or whatever. Or if you don't believe it, imagine what he you would think that he would want. He would want ultimate destruction for your life. He wants to bring about death. He's got, a, he's got many ways of bringing it. Stealing, killing, which... And, stealing, killing, and destroying. To steal, kill, and destroy. As in John 10.10, 10, that's what the devil wants. But 1 John 3.8, Jesus says, I've come... He said, I've come to destroy the works of the devil. That's the purpose that the Son of Man has made manifest.
That's right. That's the reason, not the reason he was manifested. The reason, reason he was made manifest, says the Lord. The reason he took on flesh. But there are a lot of reasons why he did that. And if you want to know, if you want to know all of them, then check out episode two of my nine, not mine, Jesus's nine, sorry Jesus, forgive me, Lord. Jesus' nine episode show teaching that he did through me called Jesus, Testament of Love, Power, and Grace. I would have given you more adjectives, but he said your brain couldn't handle it because he said if I would, when I give you the fourth one, that number one and number two are going to leave your head, at least if you're as stupid as Mark Kilgore is. Thus saith the Lord. That's true. On rapid fire, that's all my brain can take. And, and, and there's not an IQ test that my brain can't hit at least 130. And I'm just, I'm just stating a fact. And it's only a fact because Jesus gave me this kind of a brain. One IQ test said 162. <laughs> which I laughed at, I said, you know, am, am I equivalent to Jimmy Johnson, you know? Can I make the maybe the greatest destroyer franchise that there's ever been? The Dallas Cowboys in the 90s, including the offensive line, the Great Wall of Dallas? Can I? I believe that I can. I've never had any NFL coaching experience. I want to coach the Steelers. And I want to turn them into that kind of a dynasty. Imagine how many millions of dollars and, and what kind of acclaim and fame I would have. And imagine what kind of a platform I would have to witness for Jesus. But you know what? Jesus has given me this platform. All right, Jesus. I don't think you got anything else left to say. You want to prove me wrong? Do it. Do it now! <clears throat> I think Jesus must be done because now he wants to listen to Mastodon. He wants to listen to Colony of Birchman. <clears throat> Closer with every step. Hunter, gatherer, ridden from the cave. Run, run with with day, yeah, yeah. Run. There's a face. Run, run, with, with, day, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can even see his bottom teeth. Is that heavy or what? I love you, and Jesus loves you more. Check out Brother Dave, David Worth Hinton, please and Outreach for America. We'll see you. Bye-bye.